for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yes, we're going to do elemental readings. Shout out to everybody watching who is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're more than welcome to watch if you are not those signs. I don't know if this is going to be monthly or not, but this is definitely, this reading is about up and coming energies for September. What do you need to know? What's the vibe whenever you're watching this? What does Aries need to know? We're going to start off with my, I haven't really titled this deck yet. I got a lot of titles. I got a lot of ideas. So, um, this is an intuitive deck that I created for some spiritual encouragement. All right. For whoever needs it. Aries Leo. Sag. Um, you have a strong telepathic love connection with someone who is in love with you. So, wow. Take that. I'm hearing like, what? Understand that. That's the most important thing. Love is the most important thing. Okay, so anyone could ever have is a strong, loving, telepathic bond. I'm hearing like, don't tell people about this. A lot of you haven't told people. Like, if this is your reading you know this some of you know this person some of you have not met this person but you can feel their energy you can feel them close to you yes aries sun moon rising venus mercury okay mars yes let me know where your aries sun moon rising venus leo sun moon rising venus sagittarius sun moon rising rising venus so let's see fire signs yes wow so here we have strong loving connection twice stop playing with me and and it's red this is like emergency when i tell you i was literally on another plane another dimension spiritually i was so connected when i created this deck I'm telling you, listen, you have a strong and loving connection with the spirit realm. So you have the ability to tap in to both energies at any time. Okay. <laughs> Someone needs to know that they're like, oh, you're, you might be a bit passionate is what I'm hearing, but your energy is on point. Yes. Wow, everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. So I'm hearing that they basically want you to, and this is emergency, so whenever it's written in red, some of you could be really going through something right now. Some of you could just be really feeling like maybe someone's trying to put out your light, dim your light. Um, I can see here that when I was writing this, the, the red ink in the marker was like kind of drawing out draining okay that's that fire energy so my fire signs um let's just get one more and then we're gonna get into the tarot i'm not sure where this reading is gonna go but i'm gonna tell you a secret i do have mercury and aries and mars and what before i was going into this reading i kept getting interruptions and i kept feeling like i feel like i'm on fire i'm ready for it follow your intuitive hits and your psychic abilities so a lot of you are watching this you are my light workers you are my real real light workers the real real okay you are the innovators you are the people that start things and then you finish them people are not expecting you to start what you finish but that shit is going down and they're gonna have to watch i feel like with this follow your intuitive hints and psychic abilities i feel like you you've been doing that and if you haven't been doing that you're being called to do that on a big scale okay so for the majority of you that have been following that keep doing that point blank period okay um and write down your ideas write down your contracts get them in writing this is in the month of september um if you guys follow the african um um calendar um just some fun fact i note that you know september is the month of harvest so um 
some of your ideas are going to be uh, real, your crops, what you have been sowing, what you have been investing, it's gonna work. And I'm also hearing like, it's time, okay? Really showing on the Sagittarius energy because I just saw that, um, uh, and you know, some of you may, may have other rising signs or uh, something strong there is uh, with luck, okay? And timing and being a part of the competition and, um, you know, stealing the show, right? And just really being able to be present is coming through. But let's just see in September, everything that's done in the dark will come into the light. I feel like let's focus on that, okay, to see. Okay, for my dear fire signs, welcome back i know i said i wasn't gonna do tarot uh zodiac but this is a bit deeper the elemental energy i'm really into that i'm an astrology novelist so um i tend to just bear with me guys i got a lot of isms all right so um let's see everything that's going to come to the light. I don't want to talk about that yet. So everything that's going to come to Yeah, that's another thing. Keep it to yourself, especially if you are an INFJ. Keep your information to yourself. You don't need to tell everybody everything all the time. You know, you don't need to explain yourself. So the way that you've been loving someone, the way that you've been there for them, the way that you've been caring and nurturing in, in their energy, um... You're going to be receiving that and the King of Cups is really about keeping like putting that fire energy, taming that fire energy within you because the cups have to do with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water energy is the water element. So we got the King of Cups here. So um, maybe someone said, hey, you know, all you do is pop up. All you do is act crazy or are you yourself there? People are going to be seeing you in this king of cups energy where it's like you don't fly off the handle you know your 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 actions speak louder than your words you know in this king of cups energy really mature um this could be with a group of people this could be with a group of friends this could just be in general um where there are emotional energies involved could be family could be siblings um what's coming to the dark you're you're honestly like you're just gonna see that you were right and um <laughs> i have to take it i have to take it look at that look at that it's a devil <laughs> always always lurking look at all that fire fire signs look at all that fire okay <laughs> i literally feel like you're shunning the devil the devil is mad right now because um I guess people are loving you. People are kind of feeling influenced and happy about you. Maybe that's coming, you know, it's like someone who tried to paint you out to be the bad person. Now, on the flip side, I could see where this is like, things were light and fluffy, and then you had to check a bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just do that, all right? A lot of you could be seeing 11-11 dealing with a lot a passionate new beginning is here okay <laughs> a passionate new beginning with that ace of wands and it's because you just put a lot of work into it look at this the tower okay people are shocked all right so people are going to be shocked by you um and you might be shocked by someone this could be a capricorn uh cancer pisces scorpio <sighs> Um, really strong Scorpio and Aries energy here as well. My dear fire signs. What's going on with this tower? What is the truth that is coming to the light? I feel like it's that you can handle it all. You can do it all. You can do it all on your own. You don't need nobody. And it's your time to shine and show people that you got this. You can handle what life throws at you. And also that you can have harmonious, harmonious relationships. Okay? Um, this tower is obviously... Um, a fear I'm hearing of someone 
that was in your life that didn't expect for you to be in this king of cups energy like maybe you used to turn up pop off flip out and now you're being guided to just be cool calm and collect it you know maybe that's the case um i'm hearing to just make sure that you or maybe you have you you you've you you've crossed all your t's and, and um and dotted all of your eyes the fine print the fine detail is what people are noticing about you they're noticing here in this spear we have the water and fire that or that looks like the earth and the fire um we have the wands here aries leo sagittarius energy really coming through strong you're clear you're focused you are determined and nothing's going to get in your way right now you have the so much power i'm hearing from your ruda to your tuna now i don't know but I, <laughs> that's a joke maybe some of you are comedians because they're saying no it's not from your roots it's from your roots chakra to your crown chakra okay you have this power your chakras are being aligned some of you could be having little sparks up your spine pain in your ears or ringing in your ears obviously if you're having these sort of spiritual awakenings or spiritual symptoms physical symptoms check a doctor right um so let's just keep moving forward you're you're right to have your guards up when it comes to certain people and certain things um it's okay for you to stop and smell the roses i'm definitely hearing that for my, my fire sign september what's coming towards them um you don't see no drama you don't see no drama like and some of you could be leaving a relationship right and choosing someone that's a better match a better suit for you someone who's for you and is giving your you're, you're standing up to and also too with this two of cups is the five of cups i love this i love this deck all right um this is vice versa tarot so um i just feel like you guys are <laughs> you're sussing out people who are really for you and who are not for you at the end of the day um the pentacles is what's coming towards you or you could be in a relationship with someone who's very grounded or you could be attracting this energy in september um right now september really is about turning your back on things that just don't make you feel good you know turning your back on this dark energy here right um turning your back on doubting that you have the ability to put yourself first for some of you and look at this look at this i love it yes and trusting your intuition which was at the beginning of the reading okay follow your intuitive hints and psychic abilities so yes some of you have the gift of all the clairs um some of you are highly intuitive highly psychics if you are watching this okay sun moon rising venus mercury mars um the past hurts that, that doesn't matter your king of pentacles your queen of pentacles is coming in in the month of september you're just being guided to be in that king of 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 emotion and that king of stability you know that's how i see the king of cups and the king of pentacles be in that energy for some of you this could be like a same sex relationship or connection um really being able to even if that's not the case just balance out this masculine and feminine energy within yourself and grounding it blending your someone likes smoothies someone likes smoothies someone loves to juice okay i'm getting all this information coming through just blending and grounding your energy at the same time is significant here in the month of september really being seen for someone who who does what they say they're gonna do um someone from your past or <sighs> 
message you've been wanting, you know, romantically is coming up. I guess we're gonna have to pull some cards for for September, for specifically for romance because now someone wants to say something to you in September. All right, Aries Leo Sag, someone wants to say something to you romantically. Um, romance is brewing between you and someone else. Maybe you have romance on your mind. If you're single, some of you could possibly be single, but yet you have romance on your mind you got love on the brain um let's see the person on your mind what do they want to say to you i'm definitely hearing that this person misses you and they really like your text messages they love like, reading your text um if you're texting someone fire signs um this person could want to start a family with you if you don't have anyone in your life this is the energy that you are attracting in the month of september all right super high vibes only the truth my cards never lie all right so take that all right so let's see oh my god <laughs> Seek professional advice. Literally, some of you could be getting married. Um, some of you are being guided to do some sort of relationship counseling. Um, but I'm really loving how someone wants to start a family with you. And I'm, I'm, I keep being drawn back to this devil card. This could be someone that you've had an on-again, off-again situation with. Or this could just be someone who is steadfast. And they're really obsessed with you, but they're trying to get a hold on their emotions. They're trying to be like, oh my God. Um, I don't want to act like I'm obsessed with this person, but this someone could feel like you are the yin to their yang and this could be someone that you've been waiting for some of you could have been waiting for something specifically just waiting waiting um to start a family or wondering if this person does they do someone has a fear of commitment here that's for a small amount of you because literally here on this channel with these readings usually my readers um uh, my my viewers um i guess a lot of my viewers are readers right anyway um they get what they want right be more selfish um someone you could be giving you the impression that you're playing them too close all right um maybe you're giving someone more space than necessary that's okay too because you're following your intuition someone might be calling you selfish because you're just simply following your intuition but do whatever you have to do for yourself okay do not be tricked by you know toxic energy um some of you could be dealing with uh aquarius some of you could be dealing with um capricorn some of you could be dealing with scorpio all right um that was too many oh look at that all right what do they want to say i just want space okay so maybe you know <laughs> maybe this person wants to have a breather this could be someone from your past maybe you spent a lot of time with them or maybe they just feel imbalanced in the connection okay this person just wants to have a little space or maybe you feel like you want to spend more time with them but for me i'm hearing that this person is like you know you're you're telling them that you want more space and they're like you're selfish take this how it resonates but i'm definitely getting like you know oh i just want space like i just want space in your life i just want to be with you i just want to be around you okay um or it could be i just want space and you need to give this person space however create your own reality stay in your body all right <laughs> Oh, man let's see um so for some of you in the month of september aries leo sag 
This person might feel like you want things to slow down, but you really just want to be with this person and you want to spend time with them. Okay, so if that's how you're feeling, then this is your reading. If that's not how you're feeling, then it just kind of seems like maybe you have some fear of rejection when it comes to romantic partners, okay? Because I'm definitely hearing that um, your partner could be feeling insecure about where they stand with you or someone could be telling you i think we should slow down i just need space but at the end of the day this person still wants to start a family with you all right this person still loves you and it just might be time for you to be more selfish if you're not do something that makes you feel better about yourself do something that makes you feel alive, that gives you passion, right? And I'm also hearing for you females out there, your feminines, um, definitely get you some red or coral lipstick, okay? And walk on the wild side. Yes, I think so. So this person is thinking like, things are gonna work out at the end of the day yes they might be acting like they're not interested or they might be acting like giving you hot and cold energy but at the end of the day you are their plus one person <laughs> um what fire sign really isn't everyone's plus one all right aries leo sag that is the wave that's the vibe you are this this person's plus one i think so yes so even though they might have said no or they might be giving you some mixed signals or i don't know acting like they need some space flip this reading how it resonates let me know your story in the comments because i most definitely want to know all right so let's just get some advice what is the advice you know just concerning you and your love life in general some of you could be walking away from a situation and the number eight could be significant you could be seeing the number eight you could be seeing the number 1007 107 the number six let's get some advice if you walked away because someone gave you the sh the cold shoulder <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but now they want you back. What? They want you back? They always want you back. That's crazy. All right. So let's see. Mm, that's just what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm laughing. I don't know why I'm laughing. Maybe because people need to make up their mind, right? It's like, what side are you on? Who are you with? Like, what is this? Let's get some advice. For my Aries, let's get some psychic advice. <sighs> oh, we got self-love. I'm hearing self-love is not a sin. Yes, I love this melanin and romance deck from Queen Sugar. All right. Self-love is not a sin. Your advice is to love yourself. I'm working on the lighting with this new... Um, right this new setup i do love it though uh let's see so ooh, <laughs> focus on having fun this could be with friends but i'm definitely hearing like didn't you just have fun on your last date night like don't you have a date night coming up focus on the happy parts of your romantic relationship like yes or say things like my person my person loves going out with me they love spending personal time with me they love quality time i have the best quality time with my person um date night is the best night ever for me and my person you know what i mean Think about that. Think about things that make you feel good. If everything else is going wrong in your life, you're 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 gonna have a good date night. That's some advice that's coming up. Um, your next person, if you're single, it, it's gonna be amazing. There's gonna be an upgrade to your date night. Okay. Um, your divine masculine energy is coming through as well. So let's get one more card for advice and that tender touch. Okay, love on yourself the way that you be thinking about. somebody loving on you like love like 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 sexual energy isn't everything okay it's 
it's the little things that are in between okay it's the little things that are in between so i'm just saying um someone does want to touch you someone loves the way that you feel as well and on the bottom of the deck we have divine timing i love it so you're in the right place you're in the right time um look into ways to raise your vibrational frequency and stay in tune with your um crown chakra the color purple divine timing you're in the right place at the right time i'm always in the right place at the right time um i do everything right even when i don't know what i'm doing i know i quote that a lot but i'm telling you guys I'll bet a lot of people use that and they don't even give me my props because I know that's the best affirmation, okay? So you're being guided to trust the divine timing. Don't rush into anything. Just let things happen as they should. Some of you, um, I feel like, yeah, you're going to get a new watch. <laughs> um because you deserve it and some of you you know you, you don't want to wear a watch anymore and it's totally fine you're at another level so you're just being guided to trust the process of timing and just know that everything's going to work out in your favor because you always get what you want or even better another affirmation thank you guys so much for watching this don't forget to give it a like, share, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. It really helps me a lot when you do that. And until then, stay in your body. Breathe. Peace and love.